Hey, what's up? Welcome back. We uh, just had a video a second ago, so if you had a chance to watch that one, make sure you go back and watch that one first. It's not that long. I promise you can handle it. It'll be cool. But we talked about the first group of verses that we're looking at today in Luke chapter 6. We looked at verses 27 through 31 and basically landed on the, on the point that, that we have to be merciful like our Father has been merciful towards us. So think about it this way. Um, in your relationship with God, if, if you're a believer, if you're a Christian, um, you have probably consistently... Uh, rebelled against God, done things you knew you weren't supposed to do, um, walked away from God, completely ignored what he had to say. But in, in spite of all of that, God has continued to be merciful and loving and kind and gracious towards you. Jesus says in Luke chapter 6 that we have to treat people in the same way. So if somebody hits you, you're supposed to offer the other cheek. If someone takes your stuff, you're not supposed to, to fight them about that. You're supposed to demonstrate the same mercy that God has demonstrated to you. And it's a very physical, outworking, very difficult way of doing life. But if we're going to follow Jesus, this is how we're supposed to interact with the world around us. So he continues in verse 32 and he says, If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. So what Jesus is getting at here is just because you're nice to people doesn't actually mean you're any different than they are. Anybody can be nice. Matter of fact, there's a lot of people in the world today that don't know anything about God, but they are nice people. They help people. They do things. And, and Jesus is getting at like, um, just because you're nice doesn't mean everything's changed for you. Um, Jesus was really going after this transactional method of dealing people where like, if you do something nice for me, I'll do something nice for you and, and vice versa. We kind of trade in, in that capacity in, in life. And Jesus says, no, we need to compare that to how God treats us. That even when we do stupid things, when we do bad things and evil things and mean things, God still loves us and cares for us. So, it's more than just being nice to those who are nice to you or lending to someone who you know is going to pay you back. It means being nice to those who hate you. It means loving those who don't love you. It means doing things for people that you know you're never, ever going to see that time, energy, or money ever again. That's what he's getting at, is that we got to get past this idea that if you do nice for me, I do nice for you. No, if you're going to follow God, you're going to do things and be part of my kingdom, how I do things differently, you're going to do things for people that you're never going to get repaid for. And that's okay, because God is going to be your reward. Matter of fact, he says that in verse 35, you do things, you lend expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great. And you will be sons, and you can interject children in there. So if you're a girl, it's like you know, the Bible talks about guys a lot, but uh, a lot of those things, they just refer to, to men in general. So you have to understand this. A lot of this applies to you as well. So if you can, you can trade that a little bit if you want to for the, for the term kid of God, your God's kid. Um, that um, a, as a disciple, you are expected to represent him and that you are expected to represent his mercy and his grace, even if it costs you something. Um, the, the end result, like I said in our first video, is not to make sure that your rights are protected. It's to get people to look at God. So if something happens to you, someone's mean to you, someone does something that is wrong to you, um, what Jesus is getting at is like, yes, you can, you can respond in a way that, that gets them back. Take that vengeance, if you will. Get what's owed to you. Or you can point people to God and, and move towards a route of forgiveness and grace. Now, I know for a lot of people in a lot of situations, you've dealt with some really, really difficult and, and hard things. And, and let me just say, like, uh, this, this scripture uses the term abuse in a couple different capacities, and we don't use it the same way now as they did then. Um, so if you're in a situation where someone is abusing you, either physically or, or uh, verbally or something like that, and it, it's, it's, it's a causing you problem, you need to tell someone about that. You, you don't need to, like, bury that and just pretend like it's not happening. That's not what Jesus is saying here. What he is saying, though, is we need to pray for those people that we need to continue to do good for them, even when they treat us poorly. Um, the, the end result, like I said, is not to make sure your rights are protected, but to get people to look at God. And in recognition of those efforts, God promises a reward as well as adoption as his kid. And when you become adopted as God's kid, we've been looking at in Romans, you have access to all sorts of things that when this life is over and this garbage is done that we're dealing with right now, things are going to be a whole lot better. Now, this isn't a mantra to be repeated. Like this idea of like, be merciful as your father's merciful. It's not something you have to keep like repeating over and over again. It's a grace-based approach to dealing with people in life in general. 
It's a, it's a way of looking at things the way that God looks at things and say, wow, this person has been a jerk to me. And they're being a jerk because they don't get who God is. And so I'm going to demonstrate what grace. I'm going to give them something that they don't deserve. I'm going to give them forgiveness. Um, it's where faith creates action in the simplest of environments, right? This is not some deep theological concept that maybe you'll work out somewhere later future in your life. No, this applies to how you deal with your parents. This applies to how you deal with people at your school, your friends, your brothers and sisters. This is, this is real deal stuff right here. This is not just, hey, blessed are you who are this way. No, if you're going to be my disciple, this is what needs to happen in your life. And so to follow Jesus is to hope that he can change everything. And if he can change everything, then the evil people and the problems they cause are temporary. Whether you get your stuff back doesn't matter anymore. Because at the end, Jesus is changing everything. And the stuff that you have now isn't going to matter in the future. And so um, it, it doesn't matter because your, your reward is great when Jesus does actually change it all. So if I can leave you with anything after watching these videos, it's simply this. The last verse in 36 that we looked at. Be merciful even as your Father is merciful. Think about all the ways God has been merciful towards you. Where you have deserved God's anger, God's judgment, um, God's penalty for your actions. And I know sometimes it's easy to feel the guilt of that and say, okay, well, I mean, I really deserve, I feel like I'm dissing God because I've done X, Y, Z. No, 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 no. God doesn't treat you that way. God extends mercy to you on a regular basis. He offers forgiveness for you on a regular basis. And simply all you have to do is rest in that and trust in that and then extend that same mercy to other people. So when people sin against you, you forgive them. That's what Jesus' point is. If you're going to follow me, you've got to be merciful like God has been merciful towards you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in person in a couple weeks. Hope to see you Sunday.